Hello everyone. Welcome to Learn Asterisk by Doing, a hands-on training series where we dive into the world of Asterisk, the open source communication platform. In this first part, I will guide you through the process of installing Asterisk from source code on Debian 12 system. So let's get started. Before we jump into the hands-on installation, let's take a quick look at what we will be covering in this video. We've broken it down into four main sections. Downloading source code from Asterisk. We will learn how to choose the right Asterisk version for your needs and how to download the source code using wget in your Linux. Then we will learn how to update your Debian and explore the prerequisites needed for your Asterisk installation. We will learn how to customize our installation and select some extra modules before installation. And finally, we will walk through the compilation process of the source code and how to install asterisk using make command. Now that we know what to expect, let's dive into the each step and get asterisk up and running on Debian 12 system. Let's begin. For this training, I'm using DigitalOcean Cloud Provider, but the installation process of the asterisk is the same in any other cloud provider or if you want to install it on a bare metal server. I'm using Debian 12 operating system as the time of recording of this video is the latest stable version of Debian operating system. I have provided a referral link that you can use it to have 200 USD uh, credit so that you can create VM and droplets as I'm creating here and follow the installation process. Creating virtual machines or droplets in DigitalOcean is quite straightforward. You need to uh, log into your account and then select create droplets. Select the region that is uh, near to you. I'm selecting Frankfurt. The operating system, we are using Debian and version 12. Uh, we can select this basic setup because really we don't need a lot of resources. So I'm using uh, one gigabyte RAM and one CPU. And then you select which SSH keys you want to add to your system. If you search how to, if you don't know what is the SSH key, then you can Google it. It's very straightforward. And then select a name for your instance. Let's name it Debian 12 asterisk and create droplet. It will take a while to create your droplet and when it is ready, you should have an IP address. When the droplet is ready, you will see the IP address. You can copy and SSH the system. If you are using Mac, you can simply use the terminal or Linux. You can use the terminal as well. For the Windows, you, you need a client like Putty. So let's SSH to our VM, SSH root at the IP address. And because our SSH key was added already, so we are able to SSH the system. And as you can see, the console is different to our Debian 12 asterisk. In order to download the latest version of asterisk, please refer to asterisk.org website. You will see the download asterisk button and you will find the latest LTS or long-term support version in the website to download. If you select on all asterisk versions, you will see that the asterisk packages has two different support type, a standard and LTS. Let's find out what are the difference between them. Long-term support or LTS are made from asterisk branches where the focus has been on stability and user experience. So this is the version that we need to use on our production servers. But sometimes we want the latest features. Then we can use the standard release. A standard release are made from branches of asterisk that received major new features. These branches are supported for a shorter period of time relative to the TLS branch. Bug fix releases are made for one year, while security releases are extended for additional year. So as you can see, the standard version we will use just if you want to try the latest features because it doesn't have 
a long time bug fix or security release. And for the production, we usually, I mean, we must use LTS version of it. So let's download the latest version. In order to download the latest version on our Linux box, we need to copy the download link. So let's copy link address. Go to your Linux box. Let's go to a, a specific folder, CD USR local SRC. Of course, we can put this source code anywhere, but this is the standard that I'm using when I want to install my asterisk or any other packages. And then use the command wget or webget plus the address of our asterisk LTS version. As you can see, it's downloaded here. And if you want to verify, we can type command ls and we can see the asterisk source code is in our USR local SRC folder. Before we start in installation of our Asterisk server, let's update our operating system. We are using Debian, so we can use the apt command, apt update. If you run the apt update, we can see we have some packages to upgrade. You can see the list of the upgradable packages by running this command, or you can just upgrade it, apt upgrade. And it will ask you, do you want to upgrade it? And we say yes. It's always good to uh, update and upgrade your operating system to the latest version before you start in installation of the asterisk. And during the upgrade, Debian may ask you some questions about some packages like, for example, SSH config or mail that usually it's very safe to select the default options. For example, here we have, it asked me for the uh, a configuration on the SSHD config because it's a digital ocean and our SSH key was added and we want to keep the same one. And the default version, the default selected option is totally fine. And we just need to uh, select it as okay. And the installation process will go on. And when the upgrade is done, it's a good idea to reboot your system because most probably it set up the latest kernel and we need to boot to the latest kernel. It's not always the case, but to be in a safe place, reboot your uh, droplet. Now we have our asterisk downloaded and our Debian updated. Let's go to the USR local SRC when we download our asterisk source code. It is in the tar.gz format. It's compressed. We need to uncompress it. In order to do that, we can use tar space dash xvf and then the asterisk package name. You can just put ast and then tab and it should autocomplete because there is just one asterisk package, one uh, file that starts with AST in our folder. So just run this command, tar space dash x v f and then our asterisk name to uncompress our asterisk source code. Let's type ls again. Now we have two files, actually one file and one folder. We want, in, in order to install the prerequisite, we need to go to the asterisk folder. So we use the cd command to change directory to asterisk 250. This is the latest LTS version. And we need to go to the country scripts folder. Here, there are a list of scripts that are very useful when you want to install asterisk or when you want some special task. There are a very special script, install underline prereq that will do all the job of installation of prerequisite for us. So how can we use this one? You can just run dot s slash install prereq and then type install. So this is the command to automatically check the prerequisites and install them for us. If you run it, you can see it's automatically checking what packages are required. It will download them and it will Install all the required package for our asterisk installation.
When the installation process is complete, you can see this prompt, installed complete successfully. In order to verify if we have all the prerequisites for the asterisk, we need to go back to our asterisk folder. We can do it by running cds space two dot twice and then run the command configure. Configure will check if we have all the prerequisites installed and ready for our asterisk compilation. If all the asterisk prerequisite packages are installed successfully, you should be able to see this asterisk logo at the end of the configure script. Now we are ready to compile and install our asterisk, but before that, I want to customize our installation. In order to do that, we can select make menu select command. With the make menu select command, you can customize your installation. For example, with the asterisk 20 version that we are installing, uh, we have to select app underline macro. In order to do that, you need to select applications and then enter and select app macro. Or for example, in my personal installations, I usually disable PBX modules, PBX underline AEL. AEL stands for Asterisk Extension Language, and uh, I'm not using that in my training, and usually it's not very useful for our training here, so I'm disabling it to uh, see less logs, because when it is enabled, we will have a lot of logs that some of them are meaningless for us. So, and also let's go and select some extra sound packages. We want to have some sample packages during our setup. So I will select the extra sound dash en dash vm. And also let's install uh, some core sound packages. Of course, we have the GSM, so we don't need to install it. So what we have selected here was just in the application. You need to go to the end of the list and select app macro. In the PBX module, of course, this is optional and this is what I usually do. This select the PBX underline AEL and then select some extra sound packages because we need it for our uh, samples that we will go through this training. And then select save and exit. In order to compile and install our source code, we can use make and make install command. We need to run them in sequence. So let's first run make command. Make command will compile our ASCII source code and based on your uh, system performance, it may take some time. So you need to be patient here. And when the code compiles successfully, we can see that it will tell us what's the next step. We need to install the source code. So we just run make install. As you can see, it will download the extra sound packages that we have selected uh, during the customization of our setup. And we uh, still need to do two more steps. One of them is the make config make config command will uh, create the startup script so that when you are rebooting your uh, linux system it will automatically start and also we want to create some sample files so we can use the command make samples and now we are ready to start the astri service The very last step is to start our asterisk service. In order to do that, we can run the command. Let me clear the screen. System CTL start asterisk. And in order to verify if our asterisk is installed successfully or not, we can connect to the asterisk console by running asterisk dash R. As you can see, we have connected to the asterisk console and the asterisk version 250 
is installed successfully or on our Debian on DigitalOcean. Before I finish this video, I want to mention that in this setup process, we used a root user to run our asterisk process. This is not the best practice and we can limit that later, but I want to keep everything simple for the first video and we will learn how to do it in the later videos in this video series. Thank you for watching.